Yo guys, Duncan Jaw here, and on today's video, we're gonna run you through how to do your new tubeless setup with a foam insert. So we're gonna kick things off with your tubeless compatible wheel. I've already cleaned this thing up with the glue and sealant remover, but basically whether you're using an old or a new rim, you basically wanna try and get it as clean as possible and make sure if you're taking off any old uh, rim tape, that all the glue and residue is off, so you've got a nice clean surface to stick the fresh rim tape to. So once you've got your rim nice and clean and free of any excess glue, we're gonna take the muck off rim tape, we're going to start about 15 centimetres along from the valve and we're going to pull it towards the valve, over the valve and round and you'll get a double thickness over the valve. So once you've got the rim tape round nice and tight and past the valve the second time, we're then going to cut this rim tape at 45 degrees and stick it down neatly. So now I've got the rim tape on nice and even and smooth. We're then going to look for the valve and we're going to pierce it through with a little sharp object and get it ready for the valve. So now we've got the rim tape and the valve sorted, we're going to move on to the tyre. We're basically going to seat half of this before putting the foam insert in. One thing worth knowing is you really need to pay close attention to the direction of the tyre and make sure you get it on the right way. It's important at the best of times that when you're dealing with a foam insert, it is even more important to get this right because it's an absolute nightmare if you finish the whole process only to find the tyre tread facing the wrong way. So now we've got the tyre on one side, it's time to put the foam insert in. We basically do this by putting it in through the wheel and round the rim and then we're just basically going to work around the wheel. It does get pretty tight, the only thing I would mention is to make sure the seam of the foam insert is at least a few inches away from the valve. We're now going to move on to getting the other side of the tyre in. It will be a little bit harder than it was to get the other side in because the insert's now in, but it's all about basically working around and a little tip is to get the other side of the tyre into the middle of the rim you make it as slack and as baggy as possible, just so you have enough space to kind of play with to get that other side in. So once you've finally struggled to get the other side of your tyre on, it's now time to inflate it. For this, you're ideally going to need either a compressor or a tubeless pump that has an air chamber, so you're going to be able to give the tyre and your tubeless setup a real sort of punch of high pressure air, really to help that tyre seat into the rim. So now I've got the tyre seat on both sides, we're basically going to deflate the tyre, remove the valve core, so we can add the sealant. So now you've got your tyre deflated and your valve core out, it's time to add the sealant. There's a nice little marker and guide that will tell you just exactly how much sealant to add for your respective wheel size and tyre size. So we're going to place the pouch over the valve at the 12 o'clock position, before moving it down to the 6 o'clock position, before putting the sealant into the tyre. It's now time to add the valve core back in. You want to be a little bit careful because when you let go of that, you might get a little bit messy with the tubal seal. So you just want to have a quite a quick changeover. Just slide it in before tighten up with your fingers. Now we're going to tighten up with the provided valve core tool. So now you've got your sealant in, you just want to give it a little bit of a shake and spread out evenly around the rim so you've got a nice coverage right around the wheel. So now the last step is just to reinflate it to your desired pressure. So now we have a nice fresh tubeless setup wheel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. One thing I would say is if you do want to do this without the insert, you can pretty much follow the exact same steps minus the bit where we put the insert in. 